How's it going everybody? Nathaniel from Marcy Insight here and today I am reviewing LEGO Set 40424, the Winter Snowball Fight. Now this set is, uh, I believe, discontinued now. I got it as a free promo for my purchase around winter time this year when I got the ELF Clubhouse. Uh, but this set does have 149 pieces and was available for retail at a price of $16.99 in Canada. I'm unsure of what the American price for this set was. This set comes with two minifigures as well as a husky and an assortment of little builds. It's a fun little winter themed set to get, but it's nothing spectacular. So let's take, so let's just jump straight into this. So our first minifigure here is our sled riding snowball throwing boy, a uh, pretty basic minifigure here. He's holding a snowball in his left hand hand he has these black gloves on he's got this i really like this uh parka hat piece but it's not particularly uncommon i really like the red color here too i uh, red's my favorite color so i really like the way it looks but it's not particularly uncommon uh no two-sided face just the smiley face here with the little freckles around uh you know his cheeks area and then as for jacket he has clearly what is like a winter down coat on and you can kind of see the lines or the wrinkles in it and same thing at the front, and you can see how it kind of zips up at the middle there. And then he's just got the uh, tiny child legs, and there are a black print. These are the size that do not move, they're the, they're the small ones. Then we have our little skier girl, and uh, much like the boy, pretty small and simple minifigure. There's no real place for her to put her skis, so that's why I've kind of left them on here. But if I take them off just for a second, uh, she does have these ski poles as well. She's got this relatively common kind of braided hair piece, and you take that off. She does have a two-sided face. So the front side here is, you know, a, a wide-eyed smile, and then the back side here is more of a closed-eyed smile. Uh, nothing too too special about either but it's nice to get the alternate face expression and then she has this little uh, orange scarf piece and it's really nice to get this scarf piece in orange I feel like that's a color we don't often get it in and so I do like that uh, here in this set as for torso print again pretty simple we have a nice uh, light blue uh, down jacket this time you notice this one has a hood here at the back it's structured a little bit differently Again, you can see the zipper up the middle, and there's also some like coat pocket zippers on this uh, torso print as well. But again, nothing super special and just solid purple legs. And that is it for a girl minifigure. As I mentioned, this set also comes with a husky, and it is the ultra standard husky print that has existed for quite some time now. So nothing special about him at all. We also get a tree accessory piece, which again, You've seen a million times this is a classic lego piece but it's always nice to get trees because you know they're very versatile for displays so moving on to the builds in this set we'll start with our little snacks and drinks table uh, it is just made up of these modified one by two bricks and then uh, a two by four plate here for kind of the bulk of the table and then we do have these printed rounded one by one tiles uh, with this cookie print on them i wish we would have got two different cookie prints that would have been nice and we have a white cup and a pink cup so nothing too special here but i mean i do like getting these printed uh one by ones but uh, overall you know it's a table it's very very bare bones even for a table uh, easy to build you could easily make one of these out of your extra piece collection i'm sure Next we have the snowman, and uh, he makes some good use of a few different pieces here with these twigs for his arms, and then he makes use of this uh, this two by two with the kind of rounded edge with the hole. I, I don't know what these pieces are called exactly, but that red to kind of create like the scarf look around his neck, and then uh, you know he uses this orange claw piece to emulate a carrot in his nose and always nice to get a top hat no matter what it's used for uh, but this snowman build does feel a little too bulky for me especially around the chest and and the torso here it, it just the dimensions feel a little bit off I think it's just like square and bulky which is not what you'd really expect from an actual snowman you know an actual snowman is not going to be this sort of square and so that does detract from this build a little bit to me it feels like a four plus build in some ways and I I, as you guys know at this point, I'm not a fan of builds that feel like four plus builds. Next, we have the little snowmobile that our boy rides, and there is just a one by two plate here that he can uh, fit onto to uh, stand as he's riding it, and then it makes use of this little bin piece to store some extra snowballs. Uh, you have those traditional track uh, 
you have those traditional like snow tread snowshoe pieces on the bottom so that it feels like it can go along the uh, ice or the snow and then on the bottom you just have these uh, kind of smooth upside down tile just have these smooth inverted tiles uh, that allow it to really slide quite nicely actually uh, but that is kind of it for this build very simple it is red which i like you know red is my favorite color of course uh, but other than that you know again this is a very small and simple little snowmobile build up next, we have our little snowball fort area. We have a little blue flag to, I guess, mark our team. And uh, I really actually do kind of like the way they did this curved wall. They make use of these one by twos with the rounded edges as a way to kind of create this curve throughout. And the really nice use again of the one by ones that are rounded at the top here to, to cover that nicely and make it nice and smooth. And I, I also like uh, the use of these sloped pieces as well to kind of create this fort snow wall feel and it does feel like something you'd actually see it's like you know when you we would use recycling bins as kid and fill them with packing snow and then you stack them on top of each other it feels like something that would kind of look like that so it's definitely believable and i also really like getting these uh, light blue transparent pieces as well to emulate the ice i think that's not something you get a lot we also have a play feature here where you can fling the snowballs out of this barrel and it's just on a, a hinge uh, that uh, is hidden under here and it just easily flips forward. You can see it's just on some technique connector pieces and uh, it, it flings forward and backwards and forward and backward and that way you can launch snowballs and that is it for the little fort build. And then we also have our little hill for sledding on and so the sled just fits here nicely at the top and it does have a little play feature so the sled fits on the top. You push the little thing at the back and the sled goes on down and that is the other play feature of the set again nothing too special just this little ramp piece that it's built so that it can slide down nicely and again obviously the little technique piece uh, contraption at the back here to push it red flag to again denote the team that they're on and uh and just kind of a little simple hill build you can see some of the rocks with the snow on top of them i do really like again getting these light blue pieces and the the, the clear blue pieces as well the transparent blue pieces those are not super common especially this one here is the, the to kind of make an icicle as well as the crystal here those are two pieces that i do not see a lot and so it is nice to get them here i kind of have the crystal in this little cave area uh, so i do really like getting those pieces to accent this build i think that looks good and that's that's the one thing that i would say is an upside to the set is if you were looking for those pieces in particular uh, they do come here which is nice so quickly i'll take a look at the instruction books and the box and then we'll move on to my final thoughts so for the instruction books we just have this uh, one little small instruction book here with the layout of the whole set in action uh really there's not much to say about it it is a standard you know like 10 15 dollar set size instruction book uh, nothing advertised at the back you does see the play features and that is it for the book as for the box again it comes in that pretty standard 10 to 15 dollar box size uh, same picture on the front as you get on the instruction book. You flip it around to the back and you get a few different shots of the set uh, showing off some of the play features here, the ice crystal as I mentioned, and then also them, uh, you know, after their snowball fight uh, meeting around the table for uh, cookies and probably hot chocolate, I'd presume. And that is really it for the box. Again, nothing special about the box. Uh, it's just one of those Lego miscellaneous promo sets. And so, you know, the box reflects that. So overall, like I said at the beginning, I got this set for free, and I'm not going to ever complain about getting free LEGO, but with that said, this is also not a set that I would go out of my way to buy. It's very clearly child-oriented. None of these builds are super detailed or super cool. I do like the little play feature with the snowmobile here on the left, uh, but other than that, you know, you know, it kind of, it just blended into the background of my Winter Village display, and that was great, but I, there's nothing here that stands out to me that says, oh man, I really want this set for this particular build or this particular minifigure. Again, the snowman here is decent, but there's nothing in this set that is a standout that makes it a must buy. And there are some small sets like this that have uh, a part of them that are really, they are a standout and makes them worthwhile to buy. Like the Tuck Tuck, for example, the recent creator set that really stands out to me and it would be an excellent buy. There's just nothing here that really uh, captivates me, really catches my eye and says, oh yes, I really want this set. Obviously, with it being discontinued, I would not go out of your way to get it at this point in time unless there's something here that you really, really love 
there's not a lot of positives, but there's not a lot of negatives in my opinion. It just kind of is a set that exists and getting it for free is an awesome little bonus. It's certainly not a necessity in your Winter Village display, though if you have it, it fits in with the display just fine. It doesn't really feel out of place. Uh, again, it's not something that I would say you need this set to complete your Winter Village display. That's that's just ridiculous. Uh, you know, it, it, it does fit in, but it is not by any means a necessity to completing your display. It just kind of fades into the background in a way that's not very noticeable. So guys, that is my review for the Winter Snowball Fight set. I hope you guys found this video useful. Click the like button down below if you enjoyed it. Uh, it's always appreciated. It's a good way for you guys to show your support. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. I have reviews, speed builds. I stay... I try to stay up to date on LEGO news as well and make videos covering all the LEGO news as soon as it comes out. So again, if any of that stuff interests you, subscribe so that you can be notified as soon as all those videos come out. And with all that said, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.